In this video, we're going to go over exporting and what you can output, mainly the difference between BREP and mesh. It's really important in the CAD world or the mechanical design world, understanding the difference between the two. And I have found that in my professional career, a lot of people don't take the time to learn that or are just never taught it. And so they don't quite understand why they can do some things with a step file, but they can't do things with STL or an OBJ. So let's, I'm going to open up the car wheel that we did in the text, the other TextCAD videos, the create one or create with TextCAD and edit with TextCAD. So this is the last thing that we were left with. And if I were to export, I could export a GLTF, OBJ, STL step or a PLY. Now it's important to know the mesh formats, which here are GLTF, OBJ, STL and PLY. And to talk about what a mesh is, I'm actually going to bring up some help from a coworker, Nick. Thank you, Nick. I appreciate it. We're going to bring up his blog post that's on our website because I love this demonstration that he gives. So a BREP also stands for boundary representation is an exact, um, an exact definition of the boundary. So if I go back to my car wheel, for example, this edge, I'm able to select that specific edge because we have an exact representation of it. If this were mesh, notice that it's an approximation. So it's a bunch of triangles that all create what looks like the part. Mesh is really popular in animation, video game design, and direct modeling where you're doing a lot of like contouring or pulling and pushing into um into faces and to create and like kind of mold a shape whereas brep is really important for mechanical design where things have to be precise and things have to be exact especially when you're going onto a drawing so a lot of existing cad software has associativity from the cad model to the drawing and that associativity breaks if you try to use a mesh because there is no actual boundary. There's a bunch of triangles that end at different points. And so you can't click the edge. So if you've ever wondered um, if you're using a, another CAD software, I encourage you to try importing a, an STL and just try to grab onto one of the edges. You most likely will not be able to because that edge does not exist. But if you import a step file, you'll most likely be able to grab that edge. And it's because a step file has the BREP representation or the has the BREP. BREP representation would just be boundary representation, representation, ignore everything I'm saying right now. But because the step file has the BREP, so you can actually click on that line because it's an exact definition of where that exists. So let's say you just use text to CAD, you, you get an output, and then you want to bring it to maybe like Blender or you want to bring it to another CAD software. For Blender, for example, I would actually recommend a mesh because they do have a lot of direct modeling. But if you want to bring it into another mechanical CAD software, I would highly recommend you export a step. Uh, that way you can grab onto the edges and you can fillet edges, for example. So if I were to do like a fillet, I could select this edge and be able to do a fillet, no problem. Another important thing is that the reason I can actually select this edge, because you might be wondering, well, then are, are you working with a step file? No, we made sure that KCL renders BREP because in this industry, it is incredibly more important to have a BREP than it is to mesh. Not to say that mesh is useless. It definitely has its, its cases, but in most cases, a BREP is a lot more valuable. I hope you enjoyed this quick video on output BREP versus mesh, and I hope that makes you understand when you need a specific file type. Thanks for watching.